Start personalizing your homepage by adding a heading, either via a content or a heading widget. Then resize the widget to make it suit your desired format. To add text to your website, you need to use content widgets. Content widgets can be used for a variety of different content such as hyperlinks to different pages, images, videos, and more. If you have several rentals, you could give some of them more visibility and promote them on your homepage through a featured rentals widget. You can add more than one rental to the same featured rentals widget. If you have a special offer, you can announce it on your homepage through a promotion widget. If you have a lot of content on one page, you could also add another search bar, to make it easier for your guests to search for availability. Now let's see how our homepage looks like. In case you are a property management company and want your property owners to be able to access parts of Logify to manage their property, reservations, or calendar, you can create an owner access page. Here I first want to add a heading, and then insert an owner sign up widget where property owners can register to gain access to Logify. Then we should also add a login widget where the owner can log into their Logify owner account. You can place some content widgets in between to give your page a nicer structure. If you want to create your own contact page, you can create a custom page and add a contact form there. You can also give your guests the opportunity to request a call back in case they don't want to make an international call, or if your phone line is busy. Another great option is to offer a chat to your customers in case they have any questions. To implement a chat on your contact page, you simply need to sign up with a chat provider like TalkTo, and insert the widget code into a raw HTML widget. The HTML widget offers you a variety of options, and the chat is just one of them. Let's see how this page turned out. Now I will create a page where I implement a picture slideshow, a video, and an image widget. To create a slideshow, select the slideshow widget and upload the pictures from your computer. You can change the order of the pictures via drag and drop, and you can add a headline if you want. Now let's add an image widget.
you can resize the widgets and drag and drop them to the desired position. Last but not least, let's add a video to the page using a video widget. To embed the video in the widget, just copy the embed code, or as in this case, the share link, and save. Now let's see how this turned out. 